Hello, welcome to weekly vlog number 18. I hope you're all well. We're in the car because I am running really late. Today's been a bit of a write-off. A lot of driving kind of makes me really tired. And obviously I was away at the weekend and my journey up to see family was five and a half hours now that's not normally how long it is normally it's like three and a half but i think because of the time that we left we got stuck in all the traffic and it took five and a half hours and it's safe to say on saturday i had like in spoony language probably one spoon um if you were a spoony you will know exactly what i'm talking about so yeah i'm running a little bit late because i woke up this morning like got on with everything and then fell asleep again i had to kind of have a little rest halfway through the day and i was meant to be at daniel's at four it's now half four so we're not running majorly late but late um, i've got my glasses on because my eyes are one of the things that gets really tired really quickly um and my glasses really help that so i've got my glasses on i don't know what we're doing tonight probably having a chilled night because he's been working all weekend and he was on an open today so he was at work at like i don't even know really early so probably gonna have a chill tonight hope you all had a fabulous weekend and if you don't know already i'm having a giveaway um i will link the video somewhere here i'm giving away a charlotte tilbury lipstick of your choice and also a really cute little pouch from the kath kidson and winnie the pooh collection because i couldn't not give something away from there because it's winnie the pooh and i absolutely love winnie the pooh so yeah so yes i'll go and enter the giveaway if you haven't already and i will speak to you later let's go seems as i'm so late <laughs> I got to Daniel's, there's a hair on you. Hang on, here we go, cat hair. And he was cleaning the house, like, not even like a little bit, like to the extreme, so like, look at this. Can you see all of that cardboard in the green light? Mm-hmm. So I asked him if he was pregnant, but turns out it's just getting a flatmate. <laughs> uh, we are, I think, just gonna get some like takeaway easy food because Daniel can't bother to cook. I can't cook, so won't cook. And gonna have quiet night because you're tired, aren't you? Mm. But look, we're so autumnal today. You're too tall. You're like Chris. I can't vlog with you because you have no head. What wasn't there a kids program that was like that though? Cameron Chicken. Yeah. And, and Fairly Old Parent. No. Uh, not no, Fairly Old, Old, Old Parents wasn't. Cameron Chicken, and then they don't. They don't, parents only had like legs, or they all had no head. Yeah, I think Dexter's Laboratory was like that as well. Was it? Yeah. Is that Dee Dee? Dee Dee and Dexter. Yeah. Yeah, he does have a head. I just am not tall enough for you to see it. Hi. I look really tired today because I slept so badly last night. We um, ate dinner and we're in bed like at half eight. That's how tired we both were. Um, and we put a film on, we put on Confu Panda. But Daniel fell asleep within like the first five minutes um, and I was like on and off falling asleep throughout the whole thing. And then when it ended I got up to turn it off and I just could not get comfortable like at all. Um, and I ended up sleeping on the sofa. I just couldn't get comfortable at all so. And this sofa here, that one, is so comfortable so I ended up sleeping on that. But it has resulted in me looking like this and yeah. I look dreadful today. <sighs> so I don't think anything productive is going to happen today, to be honest with you. Yeah, I was thinking I was going to do... Look at my spots. Mm. I was going to do a Primark haul with what I got from Primark last week. But I didn't really get that much. And I haven't got anything else that I can add into it to make it into like a, a different kind of haul. So I might just show you later what I got. Because I really like everything that I got and I want you to see it. But there's not really enough to do a haul, like not even one of my small hauls. So yeah, I think I'm just going to show you later when I get home. Daniel is working today. He starts at three, so I'll be home at like quarter to three-ish. Although I do need to go to Boots because my um, eyelash curler has broken. Like the rubber bit is broken all the way through. I need to get some more concealer. And I really want to get a grey nail polish because these really need doing. By the way, these, if you watch my vlogs, these are still the ones I did two weeks ago. I know, like they never last that long, but clearly they have this time. I think it's because I've not been at work because like, um, dusty, um, because I work with like some fiddly things, I think they'll obviously like break the seal of the nail underneath. 
but these have lasted two weeks. Look, and we only have a little chip on my pinky. It's not gonna focus on it, so I don't know what I'm trying to show you. And a little chip on my thumb, and that is it. Yay! But I really want some grey nail polish, so I'm gonna have a look in boots, see if um, they have any of the Sensation Nail polishes, although, like I said last time, I tried to shop in Newmarket. Um, the boots and everything the shops here don't really get much so I don't know even know if they have any like sensation nail polishes at all but yeah we will see and I'm home went to boots they had nothing of what I wanted they had like four options of nail varnish colours they didn't have the, my concealer which is really random and they had no eyelash curlers so I'm still without <laughs> I think I'm going to make myself a cup of tea now because I really fancy a cup of tea and then I will show you what I got from Primark. I keep showing you, like, literally just my nose. <laughs> Sorry. But yeah, I'll make a cup of tea and then I will show you what I got from Primark. Before it gets ridiculously dark, seeing as we're in like autumn winter now and it's 10 to 4, which probably means it's going to be dark in half an hour, I will show you what I got from Primark with my little friend. Hello. <laughs> okay, so I went, uh, I decided to go to Primark because I saw some really nice boots on Instagram that I really, really wanted. So that was what I was going for. And I came back with two pairs of boots. Um, and two other things. So I'll start with the pair of boots I actually went for and it was These ones the burgundy ones. I wanted a pair of boots that weren't quite so high um, and I would normally go for like a black boot, but I wanted something different something a bit more autumn -y, something a bit more like out there for me um, and because I wear my blue jeans a lot, or black tights, that sort of thing, I was like, I can wear a bright coloured boot. So I went for these ones. They were actually, they were supposed to be £15, they were reduced to £10, which is even better. And they sit just above the ankle. And they sit, for me, they sit quite snug around the ankle, which I really quite like. Especially with tights, that's going to look really good. And then I really loved the detailing of the gold around the bottom. So yeah, I really, really like those. And these are what I actually went in for. Oh, and actually one other thing I actually went in for, but two, there's only two things I wanted. But yeah, I really love these. They do them in this colour, they do them in a navy blue, they do them in a black, and they do them in like a beigey colour. Um, and yeah, I picked the burgundy ones because I'm currently obsessed with burgundy, really it's one of my favourite things. And I just think these would look really cute actually, with this jumper, with a denim skirt, with tights, and then these would look really nice. So that's the first thing that I picked up. The second thing I actually went in for is this, which actually again I saw on Instagram. Christmas bedding, and it's got penguins on it, which obviously means that I have to get it because penguins are my favourite thing ever. And it's like flannelette, it's not flannelette, is that the right word? I have no idea. Like really, really soft, what have they called it? They called it. They've called it brushed cotton. It's really soft, so it's going to be really, really warm. And then on the underneath, it's got little snowflakes on. But I can resist it. It's penguins, it's grey and white, which fits perfectly into my bedroom theme. And it was only £18, so I can't really say no. I pretty much get all of my bedding from Primark. A, because it's really cheap, and B, because I love all their designs. And C, they're really comfortable and really soft, and I just really like them. With you moving, you're making it focus on you, my love. Thank you. <laughs> um, so yeah, I picked that up and I cannot wait to put this on my bed. So excited. I think I'm going to save it for December though until it's like actually Christmas. Sticking on the Christmas theme, I also picked up two sets of fairy lights. 
which have snowflakes on. I don't know if you can see the snowflake of light from my laptop. They're really cute, copper wire with snowflakes on. And I love fairy lights. I've got fairy lights around my dressing table. See? They're also from Primark actually. But I do need to change the battery because the battery for those is currently dead so they don't work um so i need to get some batteries but i really wanted some cute ones to put like around my shelf up there that sort of thing don't know where i'll put the other pack but i got two packs because they were only two pound fifty each so it's got really dark now my laptop's shut is that better light who knows um yeah so i've got two packs because they're only two pound fifty and i really like them and they're really cute with snowflakes on and they have copper wire which sold it for me and then lastly i got these they are so comfortable and so easy to walk in. Put one down. I'm in love. They were £15. Yeah, they're £15. And I just really liked the detail of the heel. I mean, I've got a pair of black boots. You must have seen them by now. My Carvella ones from Kurt Geiger that I absolutely live in. They're quite similar, though these are more of a suede. Um, the, my Carvella ones are obviously like a matte leather but I wanted a pair of like ankle boots like these properly sit on your ankle and when I saw these I was sold because the detailing of the heel is just beautiful I absolutely love it and then it's got like a copper zippy bit there but the zip itself is black I quite like that detail because it makes the zip stand out and I'm thinking I'm gonna wear these for my work's Christmas do so I'm gonna base my outfit around these shoes so I need to get a dress that has gold detailing in yeah need to go dress shopping soon i'm thinking of looking on chi chi london because that's where i got my dress from last christmas i did a video about it i'll link it somewhere here these would actually go amazingly with that dress but it's quite a statement dress i feel like i can't really wear it again to the christmas do i can wear it to a different christmas do i think but not to a works one because i wore it last year and i want a new one who doesn't want a new dress every christmas but yeah i'm gonna aim my outfit around these because i absolutely love them and they're so comfortable and because they're so snug around the ankle and the foot they're ridiculously easy to walk in as well so i can last all night in them but i'm gonna be paranoid about the heel because they're primark i feel like these this is gonna like rub off but we will see i really like them yay and that's all I got from Primark. That's why I decided not to do a full video because that took six minutes and it's only four things. So that wouldn't be a very good video, would it? She's so cute. Look at her. Snuggled up on a bed. I'm actually going to have a look through this magazine. It's from um, not on the high street com. My aunt lent it to my mum while we were away to look at and then mum didn't give it back. Hope you don't mind, Joe. Uh, so I'm going to have a look through it because I really like this website. There's, you can get really cool things off of here. Joe, if you want it back, we'll post it. You can have it back. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to have a look through it see if I can find some cool Christmas present ideas. It's really good, actually, for Secret Santa presents. If you're going to do Secret Santa, we always do it at work. I think we're doing it this year. So I'm going to have a look through it, depending on who I get and see what I can find but there's some really cute things in here like how adorable is that it's a hashtag right focus on it please come on come on come on there we go but you put plants in it I know how cute is that I've worked out my problem my camera it sometimes automatically changes to manual focus which then means it doesn't focus on me this is a, yeah keep an eye on that one won't we anyone else that has a g7x please let me know if you have that problem what else is in here that i really like let's just have a look shall we it's really good actually for things to get things personalized which is again obviously good for secret santa look at this cushion it's penguins so cute i now need to go and catch up on alice snell's new weekly vlog because i haven't watched that yet so i'll speak to you later I think she wants to um, get out. <laughs> She's just been sat there. Oh, now I'm talking, you're moving. Do you want to go out? Go then. Bye. Now she is out. The hamster can come out for a run.
we don't eat the book? That would be a good idea. Do I taste nice? I guess it's a good sign that she's biting because she doesn't normally. So now she's using her teeth. Now she's licking me. Ow, she's biting me again. Why are you biting me? You can see her little tongue. Please focus on her. <laughs> By the way, she wasn't like proper biting me, it was like a nibble, but she's not done that before. And it's a good sign because it means she's using her teeth again. Please don't fall off the bed again. She just fell off the bed. <laughs> Right, I need to go charge this because my battery is flashing. I hope you had a good Tuesday. One thing I've learned today, French braiding your hair when it's wet doesn't make cute hair, it makes crazy hair. Like, what? Like, <laughs> it's crazy. It's literally insane, like, <laughs> hmm, don't really know about this. Um, Today, we have someone coming to the house to interview Chris and myself mainly chris i think but he wants to ask me a few questions don't know what it's about or anything but it should be fine should be something a bit different i'll see if i can um like set up well that's bright i'll see if i can set up the camera a little bit so you can see what's going on but i don't know what the plan is or anything for today i just know that chris is going to get someone from the train station so um yeah that's it, and then I think, because I'm ready to film, I will try and film a video this afternoon. I don't know how long this guy's gonna be here for, but I will try and film this afternoon. I don't know what to film though. I need to have a think about what to film. I've gone for super, na super natural makeup though. I need to put a lipstick on, and some lip balm, and some blusher, because I currently look very dead. And then I'm good to go. I need to make my bed. I will do that now. Do you want to come in, fat cat? Do you want to come in? Okay. Oh, I hate what the cat. Misty! This is what happens when it's raining outside and your cat has come in and you have white floor. Thanks. She's also your best friend if you have cereal. <laughs> Mine. Oh, but. I decided to come into Ely. Does that help? Um to go to Superdrug, I went to Superdrug instead because it's a bit cheaper and also they have three for two on at the moment so and you know when you just really need to get out of the house that's what I was like today I just I think everything kind of didn't go to plan um the video that I wanted to edit didn't go to plan then I couldn't think of something to film and and yeah I was just like I need to do something today I need to get out of the house so um, I left at like half four, it's now 20 past five. I probably came at completely the wrong time because it's going to take me about a year to get home because there's going to be so much traffic, especially going past the train station. Um, so I might go a different way home actually. I might do. Um, but yeah, I popped into Super Dragon, picked up a few things and I think I might film like a little mini tiny little haul thing um, and I also went to Starbucks and got myself a fudge hot chocolate which 
is incredible i would just like to point out it's so good if it's really sweet oh but it's so good it's like got that slight that slight salty taste that fudge has it's so good i love it maybe my new favorite hot chocolate it's always the christmas ones that come out that end up being my favorite drinks and i can literally only get them at this time of year and it really frustrates me <laughs> the uggs came out today by the way they're on my feet it's like i'm wearing my slippers i love it it's my slippers at ugg slippers and i've also got my top shop um sheep line denim jacket on just because it was it's really snug and warm and it's like quite tight fitting on the arms it keeps my arms nice and warm but it's really comfortable um you can get loads of different ones like this i mean this was really expensive but you can get cheaper ones from new look now i've had this like two years i think now i didn't wear it at all last year actually or did i did i maybe i did no i don't think i did i lived it the year before when i first got it i literally wore it every single day and then <coughs> last year i didn't wear it at all this year i need to wear it um so I've, yeah i've got i'm covered in sheep today i've got my uggs and i've got this is obviously fake it's not real um but yeah i'm nice and snug with my hot chocolate but yeah like i said i think i'm gonna do a little mini haul because i don't like really long hauls i like mini ones i got about six things which i think is okay for a haul so i think that's probably what i'm gonna film when i get home and i'll just feel a bit better knowing that i've filmed a video for sunday because my plan for this week off like well actually i'm pretty much gonna have had two weeks off but my plan was that i was gonna pre-film loads of things have loads of things ready so i didn't have to worry about like main videos and it just hasn't gone to plan i just haven't had chance to um film things and then when i have had time to film things i haven't known what to film and it really frustrates me so yes i'm gonna go home now with my hot chocolate and film that video and edit it tonight and have it ready because it's my last day off tomorrow and i'm spending it with daniel i think we're gonna go and see his sister and our little nephew i don't know if her boyfriend's off work actually as well i don't know and but yeah i'm just gonna have a relaxed chilled day for my like last day off it's always bittersweet a last day off isn't it like you're really you're like yes yeah, still not work but the dread as the day goes on you're like oh i have to go back tomorrow no offense girls i absolutely love you to pieces but i just it's not the job i want to be doing do you know what i mean so it's always harder to go to and it's just not as fun i guess is what i'm trying to say yeah but anyway i better go before the traffic gets worse although it can't get any worse it's now like 23 minutes past five um <laughs> And I'm going to go home and film a video and make myself just feel a little bit better. I'm such a night owl though. Like this morning, I'm so unproductive in the morning. I have no motivation to do anything. And then as soon as it gets to like four or five o'clock, I'm like, no, screw it. I need to do something. I'm going to do something. And then I get really productive. And then I have late nights because I get productive in the evenings. And then things obviously take time. Right. I've been talking to you for four minutes. I need to go. Seeing a cat sleeping just makes me so relaxed. I'm sorry, don't you up, uh, baby? Oh no. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's her grumpy face. Leave me alone. I was sleeping. Why does this always happen on like your last day off? I've woken up just feeling so like motivated to get stuff done. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> um I want to get so organised with my Instagram, I'm going to pre-take loads of pictures today so that they're ready to go so I can just keep like, I've got pictures to put up whenever I want to put them up and yeah, I'm just so, I feel really determined to like succeed today. Does anyone else have days like that? I have days where I just cannot be bothered to do anything and then I have other days like this where I'm like, no, this is what I want to happen, this is what I want to do and I'm the only one that can make it happen, therefore I'm the one that has to do all the work. So, I'm gonna have a productive day, hopefully. It's 10 past 11 already. Um, and I'm going to Daniel's this afternoon when he wakes up. So I'm like, I've probably got like an hour and a half to do as much as I can to make myself feel better. And I also wanna go to Starbucks to get a red cup so I can get a classic red cup 
picture for Instagram. I'm going to try and persuade Daniel to go to Starbucks with me to get a, get a drink and then go to for a walk like around a park or something see if I can get a cool picture. That is my plan. Hopefully he'll just go along with it. <laughs> but I need to stop rambling and I just need to get on with it because I need to use up this motivation and determination and, and use it. I don't know what I'm trying to say there but yeah I hope you all have a good Thursday. Good morning lovers, guess where I am? Back in the car park, ready to go to work. Um, I didn't vlog anything yesterday afterwards because I was so productive. Why is it as soon as I start vlogging someone comes and parks right next to me? Every time. Anyway, um, as soon as I stopped vlogging yesterday, um, I took loads of pictures. I was really productive and then Daniel texted me early so I had to stop doing what I was doing early. And then um, we went to the ball pit with his sister and her little boy which was really fun but obviously I can't film in a ball pit with loads of kids because that's just not allowed is it so I couldn't do that so and then we just had a quiet evening so there was nothing to really vlog about um but yeah so I've got nothing to tell you about yesterday it was really fun um this was really awkward like she's right next to me guys like is she looking at me who knows who blooming knows but i need to go to work anyway so i will catch up with you later um and i'm really excited because there is something that i can put in my car later today because of the time of year um i can put it in my car and i'm really excited and i'm going to show you what it is later so i'll speak to you later goodbye guys i'm so sure she just sat with her door half open like waiting for me to stop filming so she could get out of the car because as soon as i stopped recording she got out awkward <laughs> She's gone now. But I have to go sit on a bus with her now. Oh, God. Vlogging is an awkward thing, guys. Appreciate it. <laughs> I've gone with the tactic of put your headphones in and then you can ignore everything that's going on around you. This is going to be quite awkward, I feel. <laughs> can you see my breath? It's so cold today. It's unreal. Have a good day. I couldn't resist. I will show you later which ones I got. They're so cute. Look at my red nose, I just went outside and got my lunch. I've decided, as the Christmas song is now playing at work, it's appropriate for me to watch a Christmas film. So I'm watching Home Alone on my lunch. <laughs> Good morning, welcome to a very wet and miserable Saturday. I didn't vlog um, yesterday, last night, because I got some very sad news and I just wasn't really in the mood to vlog. I was going to show you this, so I'll show you it now. I put it in my car, I got really excited about it. Basically, I got these when I first got my, when I got my first mini and they go in my car every winter and I need to be really quick because I need to go. Um, but it's these. Look, I don't know if I've shown you them before. Please focus on them. Please. Thanks. Aren't they so cute? I love them, they make me really excited. But my battery is now flashing, so I need to go to work. Goodbye! Hopefully I can do this before my camera dies. As you can tell, home from work. Had a McDonald's for dinner because mum wanted it, so I got one too. And I don't know if you follow me on Snapchat, or Twitter actually, but a few weeks ago I tweeted and Snapchatted um, about lights that I'd seen in TK Maxx and I got them. Oh my goodness, I'm so in love. So the base is marble, and then it's got like a copper, they're so heavy. Um, pole, excuse the mess. And then just like a white thing, but they were only £20 each. So um, bargain in my eyes. And I was going to show you what I got from John Lewis as well, wasn't I? So I'm sure you've all seen the Christmas advert now, and everyone has appeared to have very mixed emotions about this Christmas advert. My personal opinion, it's an advert, get over it. Um, and I think it's really cute. <laughs> but I couldn't resist picking up an adorable little fox. This one is the little lady and she's called Olivia. And they do the other fox, they do the hedgehog, they do Buster, they do the badger, they do the squirrel. Um, I got mum the hedgehog because she has or had a like frog ornament like a light thing i think 
that used to sit outside our front door and we noticed that it had been stolen the other day so she's obviously not very happy about that because I think my grandma got it for her um, so it had sentimental value and there are just absolute bad word people in the world so I got her the hedgehog to cheer her up and I think it cheered her up so yeah but yeah um, my battery is flashing at me again so I do need to go I hope you enjoyed the vlog I hope you had a really good week and question of the week is what is your normal McDonald's order if you get McDonald's what do you order goodbye from me and Olivia make sure to give the video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it because that makes me feel happy and make sure you subscribe as well if you're new so you don't miss next week's vlog and I will see you next week goodbye mm -hmm.